Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to the channel. So Luminar Neo has a new version out, 1.2, which supports extensions. It does have other features and stuff like that, but the main thing we're looking at here is the extensions themselves. So here we have a, an album set up and where you see the extensions is this little icon up here. You'll also notice there's some changes like information has moved to here and we can see we've got HCR merge here because it's already installed. So if you click on extensions here, it'll open up the actual extensions panel and uh, we will see what's basically installed. So we can see here it says that HDR merge is installed. This button here that says installed will say buy or get or something to that effect. And um, if you have Aurora uh, 2019 HDR uh, and you have Neo, you can get a free copy of this basically, or, or if you're subscribed. All right, so that was just showing an operation. So this is HDR merge. This is the panel that shows up once you've basically got it from either paying for it or getting the, the free version. Um, so you can drag from one to 10 images to start. So I've got three images already selected here from a drone. And uh, now the drone is set up to only like 0.7 uh, EV, as we can see here. They're like, so you can see it's minus seven, zero and plus seven. So that's what it's going to merge. You have a few options. And um, so we go to the cog here, you can see them. They're basically auto alignment, which will try and align the images. Uh, they should be aligned because they're on the drone, which is stabilized. Ghost reduction means their movement uh, they shot pretty quick. Um, so I don't think there's a reason for that. There is a reference image, um, generally the middle one, and we can see that the amount is medium for the ghost reduction. So ghost reduction just removes movement and stuff like that. Now in this case here, I don't think we need these for this particular image. If I'm wrong, we will find out in a minute. Uh, you can also remove all images from there as well. Um, you can also remove individ individual images. If you come up here and you can see this little X comes and you can get rid of them from that. But that's pretty much it. So I'm going to click merge. And we can see here we got this little kind of spinning, well, it's not a beach ball, but like a little timer letting you know that stuff is happening, basically. So this would obviously be slower if you have things like auto alignment and ghost reduction on, um, but it still does take a finite amount of time to do. So I, uh, yeah, there we go. Now, the one thing that this does do is that it will jump through here and now everything's been added to this folder called HDR merge. So you can see merges I've done already here. Uh, so what this does, if we double click in, we can come down to the bottom, we can see there that this is a HDR TIFF. Right, so it's, it's added underscore HDR to the reference image, which is generally the middle image, dot TIFF. And so we can see it's a TIFF file. Okay, now if we were to do this inside of Lightroom, we will find that the Lightroom creates a DNG file. And this is a 16-bit TIFF, whereas Lightroom will create a 32-bit DNG. Now there's no processing applied here, but I can go to edit. Uh, and all of the masking features and everything that's available uh, would normally be here. Um, but as I say, this is, uh, so this will have slightly different things than you'll see in developer who is raw. So we can bump some smart contrast here. Maybe pull a bit of highlights, open a bit of shadows. And then maybe, you know, so we can do, we can just do a general bit of process. I mean, maybe we don't need that exposure after that. And um, so we can go in, do a little bit of color related stuff if we want. And um, now we see what the remove color cast does. Okay, that's way, way nicer there. Okay, so that's just a quick general look. So folks, that is HDR merge. Um, so you can't batch process with it. Uh, and like I say, it does create the TIFF file. The TIFF files are larger than the DNG equivalent. Um, but it's it's very basic. But what this is really, really for is for people who are using Neo, Neo as their main application and then want to be able to do HDR for within it. For that point of view, this is a great extension. It absolutely just gives you access to that kind of stuff. Things I would like to see, I'd like to see a DNG um, so that we have that proper access. Um, and I would also like this to be able to batch stuff because when you're doing uh, real estate like I do, I was even just shooting a job today. Um, I would like to be able to, basically set up and say, okay, there's three images in each set, just process all of these and then just walk away and just let it happen. So that's what I would like to see. So that's why I think there's a failing in it. But as for the way it's implemented, how easy it is to install and how easy it is to access, great, full marks to Luminar for that as well. If you don't have Luminar Neo or HDR Merge, you can actually get a bundled version of that. But like I say, you can also go through that install process and get that. There are offers and stuff like that with lots of extra stuff on and please do use the affiliate link below. I do have a code that normally gets a discount, but these codes get deactivated during um, kind of like 
big promotion seasons like this. So that is Sean McFollow. And um, if you want to use that in the future, if you're not getting stuff right now. Thank you for taking time to watch this. Do like and subscribe if you found it useful. I will be doing lots more videos on various different plugins that I'm using. And I do use Neo for stuff. To me, Neo is still the best Sky swap software out there. It just it is just that good. There's lots of other little features in there that are really good, like the new masking and things like that. If you haven't seen Mask AI in operation, it is really, 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 really good. All right, folks. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next video.